cried out stuck stuck out to me right because there are times where you can just pray and you just talk to them mm -hmm. Right. There's yeah. times where you just pray and you got a little some adoration on you. You got a little praise on you. Wow. Sometimes when you got to talk to them, you you're a little upset and stuff. But it's a, it's a deep that's a it's a deep prayer when you cry to them. Mm. They didn't just say they didn't just talk to them. God, be right. so kind, you know, find a way out for us. They didn't just say, well, the Lord will make a way, so we just gonna. Try. They cried out mm. because of where they were. Because of their position, because of their situation, because of what was in front of them that needed to be moved. They cried. Mm -hmm. So when I thought about the word cried, All right. I said, well, they had to do something. <laughs> I, I'm standing right here, and this is normal to me because I, I, I talk to kids all day. I'm a teacher. My little nieces play around. But if I'm trying to get through, sometimes I gotta really, I gotta do something. I gotta move, I kinda gotta get in it. When I'm talking to God, it's oftentimes I can talk to him, I can just sit beside the bed. I can just kneel down. Sometimes when the car drives, I can do that. But it's different when I gotta really get down, face down, prostrate, and I gotta cry to him. So, praying is action. Mm, praying is what? It's, it's action. You got to do something. Y'all with me? Y'all y'all with me? Y'all uh -huh. agree uh -huh. that you got to do something? Yep. So we got pray. P-R-A-Y. Oh. We're going to start with P. Positive action words okay. that start with the letter P that mm. are related to prayer. Y'all got y'all no bad, no pads and pencils. Y'all know he'll say you got to have your book open. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Start writing them down. Write them down for a second. We're going to work with Positive. Positive action words, y'all. Right. Action words. Positive action words. Action words. Y'all got P? Then you're gonna then you gonna move down to R. You don't need a whole lot of them, just get you a few to resonate with you. Move down to R. Positive action words. Let's start with the letter R. The beginning of R. Okay, and after you get your one or two for R, go ahead and do A and Y. I give y'all a few seconds to, to do that. Positive action words that start with that letter. That are associated with something. the word prayer. prayer. Yeah, that's associated with prayer. Okay. Related to you and your prayer life. And when you got to cry out to them. Or or even when you don't cry out to them but need to. Mm. Whichever, whichever lane you in with them right now. Because some of us is on the brinks where... Yeah, I do talk to him. But have you really cried out? Have you laid that thing out? Mm. Or did you just tell him about it? Because mm. I know when I cry, I'm releasing something. Mm. Cry to release. I'm releasing something. You feel a little bit better after you cry. If you get done crying, you still want to cry some more. You didn't. You didn't drop something on the first one. You just want to hear yourself whine. Y'all there? One. I give y'all, let's say, 30 more seconds. Just need one or two words. 30 more seconds. All right, about 10. The P words. Five, four, three. Two, two, one, and one. Let me borrow some. All right, y'all. P. Praise. 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 And what else? Powerful. Ooh, that's good. Let's talk about powerful. Talk about it in the action form. Out there. We're good. Can y'all see Power Force action? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. I just want to make sure y'all thinking the same. Prepare. Any other words? Prepare. Prepare. Posture. Prepare. Posture. 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 One more. Position and posture. We can do that. Okay. Pivot. 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 
When I pray, I pity. And then mine, I put pacify. Ooh. We'll come back to it if the Lord be kind, right? We'll come back to it. Push. Push. All right. Let's move to R. Reliable. Reliable. Let's talk about an action form. Reliable being action. We good there? Yep. Yeah, to rely. Okay. All your words are right. I just want to make sure we stay in. We all in the same. Rejuvenate. Rejuvenate. In action form. When, when you rejuvenate yourself in the word or prayer, you feel it, it's like your burdens are lifted, your, your issues are lifted, your problems are lifted. I'm with it. Rage. I'm with it. Rage. 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 What'd you say, Kendrick? Reflect or reflection. Reflect. I'm very in. I'm with you. My, mine was raised. Raise. Raise. Let's go to A. Go ahead, Mom. I said ask. Acknowledge. I can't say the word ask. Right. I got checked by a kid today. I don't know what an ask is. Ask. 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 It's not coming out right. No, just ask. I wasn't good with that diagraph, y'all. It didn't. That one is Ask. That one is Acknowledge. Ask. Acknowledge. Spelling don't count, y'all. Anything else? Ask, acknowledge, what else? Okay. More. Accept. Accept. When I have to. Any other ones? I had two. What? I had access. Okay, access. And what else? And my second one was advance. Advanced financial. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't say that name too loud. Don't say that name too loud. Everybody didn't have one or two. Okay. Don't say that name too loud. Listen. They ain't bothering me. I ain't trying to bother them. Let's go to let's go to why. Let's go about my story. Let's go to why. Tell me y'all with with the spelling. Y e a r e. Yes. Cool. Yeah. I had you. Okay, any other ones? Yellow. 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 We'll talk about it. We can talk about it. We can talk about it. Yes. Yield, yield, yearn. Yeah. Yield, yearn. Yelling. Yeah. Sense of yelling. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yes. Any other ones? We don't want to be a wild word. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's just talk about it. In your, we're talking about the action of prayer. Right. Because they cried out. They and they got they got me. Right. Right. Because I want to know how many times I've stopped and really been quiet. Mm -hmm. Because I wonder how many times I'm stopping really myself from advancing past something because I'm holding back. Wow. And I think I'm doing good enough. I, thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for waking me up this morning. Right. Thank you for last night's laying down and this morning's rising. That's some that's so quick and natural. And I, I put in the bag in the car. Lord, thank you for the blessings that you give me every day. But man, it's something different when I got to say, I am studying for this exam. Come on. And it's my midterm. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, my grade is all right. But I'm, it's depending on this. And I didn't do my part. God, I need for you to still come through and do it. Right. And now I'm dealing with some stuff that I know it's, it's my fault. I brought myself to this because I didn't do my part. I remember all the times I told you no. I remember all the times you told me not to when I did it anyway. I remember times I didn't even think about how you felt about something until I got myself caught up. I'm angry, but I'm crying out to you, but I need you to soothe me because I need that peace. I need your cup. I need your grace. I need you to make me peaceful through this. I need peace through this because I still need to operate in love Absolutely. and in positivity. But I'm so mad at me. It's kind of what happened on Friday. You know, I'm so mad at me that everything making me mad. Soothe me. Pacify. Rock me to sleep. Those type of prayers here pacify you. Yeah. Yeah. That word gonna sound funny when you said to somebody, try it. Just Kendra, just take one of Jazz's pacifiers. Just hand it to people. Yeah. Okay. We're on bigger. My bad. <laughs> I read real quick. 
are <laughs> relying, right? Being reliable, rejuvenating ourselves. Mm -hmm. I want to go back to reliable because in praying, we rely on Him. Mm -hmm. But how often can He rely on us? Mm -hmm. uh -oh. mm -hmm. Even in our prayer life. All right. Mm -hmm. You won't even talk to me every day. Mm -hmm. You don't include me in everything like you say you do. You know, those some stuff, I ain't asked you if I really could go there that time. Yeah. I just went. And, you know, yeah, the Lord know my heart. I'm not going to still say that. Yeah. The Lord know my heart. Yeah, I'm favored. That's what I say. I'm covered. When people say that, you know, I, I got an anointing, so it's cool. Just so taking a okay, yeah. I could I could still be talking about me. Um, y'all with me? Okay, but I, I go ahead. Sorry. Nope. Talk we need it. When you talk about the wisdom of the so we talk about pacify. When I hear the word pacify, it actually makes me think about um what's the word that I'm looking for? It, it's it's silencing silencing me just so I don't. It's temporary. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a temporary thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. When I hear, hear the word pacify, it doesn't give me uh, a long term result mm -hmm. sometimes. Mm -hmm. And that's why sometimes when I pray, I'm only praying out of desperation because now I've been backed up against the wall with a lot by my own sure. hand. For sure. Because I've been pacified for so long. Ah, uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. So. How how long must God pacify us mm -hmm. before we? Especially when you hit a season of just yes. being pacified. Yes. Exactly. Before ah. We to him from a very real thing. Yeah. Of desperation, or we just come from that part. That part. That part. I love it. I love it. Y'all good on that? That makes sense to me, and and it makes sense to me because being being in a season where I need a little pacifier, you know, don't get comfortable. Yeah. Or take advantage of his of his suit, yeah. just because you know he will. Mm -hmm. That there, I'm with it. I just learned something. I don't know if nobody else did. It sounds you like those prayers when we. Well, I don't know if y'all did that. Lord, I ain't gonna do this no more. Yeah, get me out of it. Right. And just keep on. Right. Yeah, I promise I won't. No one, I'm going back next week. I'm about to take. I want to be out of this. Lord, I ain't gonna go no more. I'm just gonna walk in. I don't know. You know, I won't stand in line no more. We don't ever mean what we say. I love that. Y'all got any questions about that? Y'all understand it? Y'all good on the past spot? Cool. You helped me. You helped me. That was good. Mental note. When you move from that to wanting real change. That part. That's what we have for the moment. Yeah. And that's all right. Sometimes. Well, like I said, you get to a season where you you learn that. I would think that I needed him to just soothe me completely. But that just helped me realize maybe I prayed for it just a moment. Because I don't want to get comfortable with it either. Yeah. So why I keep going back and keep needing it. Yeah. Help me. Help me. Y'all yeah. wow. good on that? Reliable, rejuvenating, reaching. Reaching. Let's talk about it in the action form when you're praying. Reaching. Help me. Father, I stretch my hands. No other help. <laughs> no other help. Sing the song. Sing the song. That part. Hey! Sing the song. There, right? I use raise. Mm -hmm. um, I said to lift or move to a higher position. Prayer should do what? Raise you. Raise. It should raise you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or it should it should make you want to be raised yeah. at least, if anything. Yeah. Yeah. And it just if we tying it to this pacifying. I should get to the place where I no longer need that. I'm glad you said we're two. We've moved past that. Some of us still walk around here ten. With Similac on the tongue. Yep. That's a whole sermon. With Similac on the tongue. You got some still, over still that? looking for something to latch to. You got something over than that? Still, still, yeah, some of us still there. Still there. Still it should, and it should raise you. And also raising, raising the weight. Not only raising you, but raising the weight, raising the situation, getting it out of your way. We, we still like to have our hand on stuff all the time. I know I do. I feel like I can handle every situation when it come my way just because I, I know what could work or what had worked before. 
and now I'm getting to a place where all of this gotta go up. Mm. I, all of it gotta go up, which is gonna make me. I'm automatic posture is different now. Mm -hmm. Now I gotta drop every time, cause prayers when I'm not in my right posture, it don't even do me no good no more. So I, I can only imagine when it gets to a certain place what it's really doing for him because he's he's knowing I'm not even finna position myself. I'm not finna raise it up. Now we gotta get to the place where we, we start lifting that thing on up through prayer, which <laughs> should raise you. Y'all understanding that? Y'all yeah. can help me if y'all got some, help me. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna move on. Hey. Uh -uh. <laughs> I have to with that word. But that acknowledge acknowledge. Which are listen, I'm gonna help me, not you. The reason why you keep saying ass incorrectly. It's because you're hearing it from you incorrectly. Mm. Oh. And that somehow, that connects to our prayer life. Mm -hmm. When you hear yourself pray incorrectly, mm -hmm. when you do it, you do it incorrectly. Right. Tan can tell you, you have to, when you have children, you need mm -hmm. to talk to children in their face. Yeah. And they really need to hear yeah. words yeah. that are coming out of your mouth. Yeah. So here you are as an adult mm -hmm. that can't say a three letter word. Because you heard it incorrectly from you, yeah. not from me. Yeah. So what is Kendra hearing from Kendra every day? Yeah, right. Maybe Kendra's prayer life is jacked up because she's not hearing the correct form of prayer from her. Wow. Yes. Wow. <laughs> the doors of the church are open. Oh, okay. <laughs> the doors of the no, church are open. But that's yeah, real talk. Yeah. You, you, rich. you keep saying, I can't say it right. No, you can say it right. Hear it wrong. But what you're hearing you say is incorrectly. Right. You got too much negative self talking to you to pray to yeah. a God the right way. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah. So children need to hear words, they need to hear enunciation, yes. they need to hear voice and diction. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting, you can take a, a young, African American male child up to about seven and he talks proper. Yeah. After about eight, nine years <laughs> old, he it slips. Yeah. Because yeah. what? It's what he's heard him say. Yeah. It's bad when you train your ear to listen to the wrong thing. Wow. Yeah. So ask. Ask. <laughs> ask. That's prayer, yeah. right? That is. That's prayer. Yeah. I've heard it wrong for me too long. So I can't trust it to be right. And now in the prayer life, I'm at, I'm at an acknowledging point. Yeah. Of how long I might have been praying it, wrong. Yeah. Right. Just he ain't wrong. Because like I said, there is no right or wrong way to pray. Right. But, but there is. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. There it is. <laughs> you should probably stop telling people that. Yeah. Because there is. Yo, it's a wrong way to pray. Yeah, right. That's a wrong way to pray. That's a wrong way. Yeah. He prayed a PRE one from PRA one, PRE one. That's right. In your PRAY. Yeah. Saying something don't line up at all. That's all. Let's pray to him, so not the problem. Thank you. I remember that. <laughs> What's that? Pray the answer, not the problem. Yeah, just pray the answer. Lord, I thank you. My child will get saved and act right one of these days. Period. Thank you. Period. That's all. That's right it. now, I don't see the manifestation, but I'm praying the answer. Yeah, and I'm going to go ahead and break it off the family line. Yeah. 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 Pray the promise. Yeah, pray, pray the, the promise. promise. Pray the promise. You don't never pray the problem. You pray, pray the promise. promise. Pray the promise. I think you said that before. Yeah, well, you just pray, pray the promise. promise. But if you hear it incorrectly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's good to me. Huh? That's good to me. What's that? That hearing it incorrectly. It was the too much negative talking, so that's what's coming out. Yeah. And your mouth don't have to say it, your mind already has. Uh, no. <laughs> your mouth don't have to ever say it. with that one, sis. <laughs> no, for real, your mouth don't have to say it, your mind already has. Your mind is your first fear. Yeah. It's good to me. That's good, y'all. Acknowledge, accept. Ooh, Lord. Access. Access. Access to him. 
Father. To the Father. Yeah. Through prayer. Mm -hmm. And then advance. Right? And, and when I think about advance, prayer helps me advance in my relationship with him. Mm -hmm. It also helps me advance past me. Mm -hmm. Which I'm learning tonight and kind of been learning that I'm a lot of my faults, I guess I could say faults. And I'm a lot of my storms. Right. And I'm a lot of my hurdles. Yeah. Me. Mm -hmm. So yeah. advancing past me and advancing past the thing that I that's making me cry out, that's got me in this in this place where I need to do it. I, I gotta get this together. I gotta get my whole prayer life together. Advancing past that thing. Because I we go through a lot and we see a lot, but all of us got one thing that just seems like we can't conquer. We can't get over. We can't get around. Mm. Whatever your thing is. No, no, no. That was what I thought about with advance. Prayer helped me get past that. Because when I I'm learning wow. that <laughs> when I start to fiend for it. Not fiending, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> and then withdrawals kick in because addiction real and we only think that it's something that yeah. you can shoot up pop back you know we only think that it's those <laughs> but them, them them addicting things that's just all I gotta do is swipe card one time or bust the block one time those addictions those when weird. I start to have withdrawals for those and start to think for those what you call them, I, the only way I know not to go, I didn't got to the place now where you know I need your help turning this car around because yeah. I'm about to mess me up. <laughs> Whatever you want to send to make me go, then the baby might call. TT, what you doing? Yeah, or you know, somebody might bless me with something. Mm -hmm. Then it's like, yeah, help me. Yeah. That's you that's to get to the point to ask. Him for that. Yeah. That's that point. Say that again, Tangela. Just get into that point. To ask. To ask him. The Lord said, hey, lead me not into temptation, whatever the temptation is. I don't care if it's going to get a large coat at McDonald's. I don't care if my mama need me to go get a cup of ice because she lived 45 minutes away. Whatever it takes whatever to keep me from doing that thing. That you know it's not good. <laughs> Or whatever. I'll never break and the cycle. I kept it light, but you know, I'll keep doing it over and over if I never knows. get to that place. What that thing is that you need to be like, hey. And that's the and you know, <laughs> that's, that's the thing when people keep saying I'm I'm tired of the cycle. It seems like I just keep going through it. But what have we done different in it? Have you asked the father to do this? Have you done anything? Have you, have you done anything? anything different have you invited him into the situation yep. have you given him the situation have you given him you have you given him you because the more that i keep saying that i didn't gave it to god and i didn't gave this yes and keep walking my way come on sis. i really ain't gave it to him okay that was me with events when i got to that word I, I, all that just helped me because I was like, you know? None of that. None of that. They say, uh, if you die, you leave. I don't want to drop. I don't want to leave the sick road. Blind for me. Blind for me. I see when we get there. I feel you, sis. I'm there. Why? Yearn. Talk to me about yearning. A want. Yeah. Yelling. That's good to me. Because it reminds me of the crying out. Yelp. Yelp. Yeah. And then yielding. A lot of us said that. Well, for one, because we can't think of any of the words. Right? That's right. But at least we was all I take it the way it comes. And then I looked up you because you was my word too. It said to give weight to him. Yep. Yield to him. 
to his way. Mm-hmm. And we should, mm-hmm. we ought to be at a place mm-hmm. where we no longer just want to talk like we like them, but actually exemplify or show that we're like them. Mm-hmm. And I remember, and I'm, I'm learning this right now, I need to be careful in my reflections because I don't want to digest the reflection too much to where it still stirs something back up in me. I hope that makes sense. Because I, I reflect too much on the negative that had happened, that it will still start to manifest mm-hmm. something in me. And that's why my prayers come out the way they've been coming out. Because I'm going back and I'm reflecting. I'm just kind of, kind of recycling that thing over and over because I call myself reflecting on it and still eating off of it and still believing that thing. Be careful in your reflections. That could be another one for this one, right? Well, but in reflecting in situations, how many times did I, have I been brought to a place or to a difficulty or a situation because I didn't do my part? And we don't, we don't always like to talk about what we did to get there. We are, why, Lord? He's, he's looking up, why? He's saying the same thing, why? You asking me why, and I'm asking you why. And this is a consequence. Now, I didn't brought you to it, and because of the promise, I'm going to get you through it. But you asking me a question that you really should be asking yourself. Why? When your life should exemplify different anyway. Okay. Cool. Um, that differently until the conversation we didn't have tonight. Honestly. Because now it's like all of these things don't just apply when you in the most difficult crisis, life-threatening time when you come down to your relationship with God. Mm-hmm. And I'm learning that right now. Because this is talking about those those situations and how it turns mm-hmm. to a cry. But I'm talking about the times where it ain't as, as crucial in my life. It, it can be harmful to someone connected to me. Mm-hmm. But because it ain't as crucial to me, I don't, I don't need to be postured for it. I don't need to be positioned for it. I don't need to make sure I don't need to make sure my temple clean for that type of prayer. And how for me, how foolish right. of me to think that I can still go to him as tainted as I want to and expect him to do the same thing uh, that he does when I'm solely pure and sober. How foolish of me. How rude. Mm-hmm. For you to think that you can treat me like that, and I, I'm gonna try to help. I think I am helping, but I'm gonna try to help. I was talking to one of our kids about how what honoring that mother and father really, really talking about. Because we ain't gonna want to do what our parents tell us to do every time. Sometimes it ain't gonna make sense to us. Sometimes I'm recognizing now as an adult, it don't make sense to parents sometimes, but I'm a parent and I can. And you need to, because I'm your mama and I said so. Or I'm your daddy and I told you to. And I don't have to have a reason. It's just because I said it. And how good it do a parent's heart for you to just do it because they said it. And I was trying to break it down to little mama because it ain't going to make sense. But you're just supposed to. And as I was walking back, from the conversation thinking I didn't get the big sister thing. One more for Jazz, right? Like, and that's when God came and said, you ain't honoring me. Mm. See? Wow. Wow. You ain't, you don't do exactly what I asked you to do just because I told you to. Because it don't align with what you wanted to see and it don't make sense. But then we like to say, eyes haven't seen and ears haven't heard. But when you see something that your eyes ain't seen before, you don't want to do it. And now you're not honoring your father. Because it ain't just the earthly. It is the earthly. But that ain't all. That ain't all. And I just can't help but wonder if with my earthly, if God is trying to cultivate me with my earthly mother, to really teach me how I'm supposed to be with him. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Hmm? Ooh, no. Ooh, no, 
Um. Okay. So we're gonna turn over to the next page real quick. Look at my time. I'm, we're gonna wrap this thing up. I only went to forty-seven because I thought about the hour. Cool. Um. There's a passage right here in the middle of the stars with there comes a time uh, uh y'all right. there okay all right so there comes a can me you didn't talk about this so i i know me and you are but there was a time where prayer went the first turn that i'm making when i see a storm it's the talk about i'm feeling and i got withdrawal and now this storm and i know for me too I didn't call three, four, five yeah. people to talk about the song to get their advice and their opinion on it. And ain't nobody you know, you know, me. The minute that I pray about it, I get all the answers. And I done wasted all that time. Now everybody know my business. Now everybody got their mouth on me. Now everybody's now I'm hearing God in their voice. Okay, so it says the fervent prayer of a righteous man is mighty in his work. So I looked up the word fervent because I, I gotta learn. And I can't get up here and act like I know what I'm talking about. I have to learn. So fervent. It said having or displaying a passionate intensity. I ain't always fervent when it comes down to anything dealing with God. Okay. It's okay. And we just talking about prayer. We just talking about prayer tonight. But I don't always want to do it. Sunday school get hard sometimes teaching every week. But it's what I'm supposed to do because I'm a teacher. So it don't make sense for me not to do what I've been on for. That don't make sense at this point in my life for me to say I don't want to teach. And that's what I've been put here to do. So what you want to do? Because you ain't a singer. You just show your daddy. So what you want to do? It don't make sense. And that's that's us when, when we know exactly what we should be doing. But because we don't want to. It's, it's so easy. But all the blessings are attached to the obedience and the, and the discipline. Mm. Joe put it like this one time. Ooh, are we live right now? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me tell you. When a job possibility blew up on my face, when a friend was overdosing on cocaine, when my child got involved in the wrong crowd, there was little I could do except plead with God. Sometimes these prayers are prolonged. True. What does it mean to prolong something? To drag it out. Drag it out. That, it. You seen the first time when your baby did something that looked weird and like it might take them a route that ain't good and then lay it down then. You seen the first mistake that you might have made that your child might have experienced mm -hmm. and then lay it there. You seen your first mistake to make you look at yourself different. Mm -hmm. yep. To put you in a different. We all know. And yeah, that got me right there when it said prolong because there's some times where I drag something out before I give it to God till it's the worst. Now I'm giving you just, it's, it's all dirty, filthy, raggedy. But when I had the teddy bear and the eye fell off, I didn't come ask you to sew it back on and help me to be a better steward of my toys. I waited till the arm fell off and then the yeah. other eye, and that is dirty. And I got a patch on the back. Now I'm like, can you help me be a better steward? At this beat up and raggedy. Okay. All right. I hope I'm helping. Okay. All right. And to end this off, to end this off, this last passage, I'm going to read it really quickly because you just, we need all of that to, for it to even make sense, right? Mm -hmm. Other times, however, my prayers are quite short. Right. I've learned a new prayer technique from the writings of the missionary Amy Carmichael. Kendra, mm -hmm. I thought about you when I read this. Yep. She learned it from the famous Bible teacher, Dr. F.B. Meyer, uh -huh. who once told her that as a young man, he had been irritable and hot tempered. Mm -hmm. An older gentleman advised him to look up at the moment of temptation and say, Thy sweetness, Lord. Mm -hmm. Kendra would say, It is well. Kendra would say, Peace be still now. Kendra would say, God, God bless you now. I'm, I just witnessed it over the last couple of months. They, they, Kendra don't even have to drag it out no more now. She just said, it's well with me, y'all. Amy Carmichael, do, and her walk is like it's well with her. And her talk, mm, I get real happy like that because like we we had Kendra at some time and 
you know, to see to see the effort and the intensity is inspiring to me because it could very much so be me. Very much so be mine. And she pushing through. And now it's just, it's well, y'all. She used to throw chairs and turntables. Uh-oh. It's just good, right? Amy Carmichael developed many variations of that prayer. When meeting someone she didn't like, she would simply pray, Thy love, Lord. In a crisis, she whispered, Thy help, Lord. Yeah. Or Thy wisdom, Lord. Lord yeah. Sometimes when I'm worried, I just lift my heart to heaven and say, Lord, you got to fill in your own blank. Yeah. You follow by the name of one for whom I'm concerned. Looking back over the years, I never faced a crisis in which in response to earnest prayer, whether prolonged or instant, God didn't make a way. When you look back over it, even when you didn't take it to him and talk to him, he made a way. Even when you kept going back to the trap house, he made a way. All the parties, we got home. Uh, every time, God is on E. We can make it to Friday. He made it work. Even the ones, the times we didn't give it to him. It's some stuff today that we still prolong that he making a way for. So yeah, it is well. Yeah. It is well. We can, you can really make your yes a yes. Cause he been, he been faithful to your yes before you gave it to him. Okay, so that was James five sixteen. That says, "Um, the earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power. Power and produces wonderful results." That's the great secret of those who put their hands in the hand of the one who can part the seas. So, if you want to know the secret to it, read. Yeah. Yep. The next page, we'll we'll pick up there. That's all I got, y'all. All 